drunk. And cha cha cha, you're doing better, Mr. Ward. Rather than a gold star, I'll take a date with the teacher. Cha cha cha, now you're losing the beat, Mr. Ward. Well, it wouldn't be a total loss. I hope I'm getting someplace with you. Oh, look, I think that'll be just about enough for tonight. Yes, I'm sorry. You've you learned the basic set now. Now all you have to do is familiarize yourself with it. And I'll see you on the next Friday. How's that? See you Friday, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Sleazy, Mr. Ward. Why I ever started these nice adult classes, I'll never know. They're such a bore. Eight months ago when you started them, you said, and I quote, because you were bored. Hmm. I was. After Phil died, I, I didn't know what to do with myself, and I still don't. Honey, when you're lonely and bored, yes, and feeling sorry for yourself? Oh. Look around. Find someone a little worse off than you are. Give them a hand. Are you suggesting that I race little Boy Scouts for little old ladies on street corners? Mm, you are in a mood. Yeah, maybe I am. Here, you finish that. Thanks. I've got to get to the market for it closes. See you tomorrow, honey. Night. Not an easy job shopping for one, is it? <laughs> I'll buy a head of lettuce and throw half of it away. When you're lonely and bored, Find someone a little worse off than you are. Give them a hand. Dad, but Mrs. Fry, some of them can barely walk. Oh, I realize that, Doctor, but... Look, I I'm a very good teacher. Please, couldn't I just try? Well, of course we'll let you try. And we'll do everything we can to help you make it a success. Thank you. Then when do I start, Doctor? Well, give me two weeks to work up some interest. Uh, we have a rec hall. It's certainly no ballroom, but uh, it should do the job. It's at the end of the hall on the right. Oh. Why don't you take a look at it as you go out? Thank you, I will. And uh, then I'll, I'll see you in about two weeks, all right? Goodbye for now. <laughs> Goodbye, Doctor. Easy, Pete. Just easy now. You're trying to rush it. Just one step at a time. Hello, oh boy, Eddie. Oh, Pete, you can't rush it. Well, at this time... How do you know? What do you know about it? You ladies aren't screwed into these barbed cages, so just leave me alone. Oh, come on now, Pete. What are you going to do, just lay there? Why not? I'm not going anyplace. I like it here, so just leave me alone, will you? Pete. I know how hard it is to get used to these things. No, you don't. You don't know, so don't try and tell me that you do. I know because I've got them on. You can't tell me anything because you've never had these bear traps on. Okay, Pete, I'll get your chair. Are you all right? Yeah. Well, as I will be in a minute. Woo! These things are just strange, that's all. Mrs. Fry, I think three hours the first day are enough. Uh, come on, doctor. Help me up, will you? I'm all right. Just help me up again. Oh! 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 oh. Thank you. Is this really necessary? Yes, I think it is. If I'm going to teach these kids to dance, I've got to realize their restrictions, what their problems are, wearing these bear traps. Oh, well, come on, take them off. You can come back tomorrow for another trial. Oh, no. Once I get these things off, I'm never going to put them on again. I'll work with them today until I figure out... Oop. And then I'm going to give them back to you with my compliments. But you go ahead, doctor. Go on. I know you've got a hospital to run. You sure you'll be all right. No. <laughs> but I'll holler loud. Someone will come and pick me up. Go ahead. I'll look in on you later. Oh, no, please don't. Just forget about me, Doctor. I'm fine, really. Okay. I hope. <laughs> oh, hi. Hi. Oh, no, please. Come on in. Okay. Go around here. What? You're new around here. Oh, yeah. 
I am. I was just going to play the phonograph, okay? Oh, good. If I'd known one was here, I'd have had it blaring. I wish they'd get some new records. This is just about all there is to do around here. Oh, well. Hadn't you heard? There's going to be a dance class. Oh, yeah, I heard. Uh, it really flipped me. A dance class. That'll be a sight to see. A traffic jam of wheelchairs. <laughs> Careful now. Don't be so disdainful. I'm going to be the teacher. You are? You're going to teach dancing? Oh, well, you see, I just came in here... Well, there you are, Pete. The doctor wants to see you right away. In a minute. Right now, Pete. Come on. Okay, okay. When are you going to start this class of yours? In uh, two weeks. See you then. Okay. If you can manage to cut out with those iron fences wrapped around your legs, well... Maybe there's hope for me. Oh, but... I will be putting these on again. Oh, brother. Hello. Oh, hello. Come on in. Is this where the dance class is going to be? Yes. I'm Polly Fry. My name's Norman Willis. How do you do, Norman? Are you the teacher? Yes, I am. You think I'll be able to dance anything? I can't even stand up without these, you know. Well, I, I know that. Uh, hello. <laughs> Come right in. Uh, I happen to know there are several girls who are going to be in the class who also use canes, and uh, why don't you and your partner hold on to the same cane, use the same pair, you know? Yeah, I guess that would work. Well, I think it would. Uh, do you want to put some music on it? It makes it more pleasant, honey. First, I am going to show you the basic step in the foxtrot. Uh, Norman, would you turn the music off for a moment, please? That's right. Now, I'm going to do the boys' part first. Um, the man always starts with the left foot. Now, that's very important. I want you to remember that. Uh, now, watch my feet, and I'll show you first. Ready? Left foot forward, side, close. Right foot back, side, close. See? Left foot forward, side, close. Right foot back, side, close. Now, will you try it with me, please? Remember, watch my feet, and left foot forward. Ready? Left foot forward, right, close. Right foot back, side, close. All right, Peter. Come along now. We're going to have to do this together in a minute. Ready? Left foot, please, forward. Left foot forward, good. Right, close. Right foot back, side, close. Very good. Forward, side, close. Back, side, close. Good. Forward, side, close. Back, side, close. Good. Forward, side, close. Back, side, I never was much close. of a dancer. Now at least I've got a good excuse. <laughs> Back, side, close. Forward, side, close. Oh! 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 Now, that's a new step, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, that's very effective, Peter, but too hard on the tailbone. Come on, kids. Set Fred and Ginger on their feet again. Oh, up we go. Get away. Give me a hand. Get up my there. Thank you, Galahad. Thank you. Well, now, blessed is he who can laugh, for he shall have company. <laughs> well, take your partners again, and let's get this ball rolling. Come on, Peter. I'm over this way. There you are. Ready? Now, forward. Back. Close. Good. Side. Close. Forward. Side. Close. Quick. Quick. Slow. Very good. There. Oh, dear young man. Here, keep those things going. Everybody in this class dances. Some on their feet and some on their feet. Keep going, honey. That's fine. Play with the music, darling. Oh, it's very good. Well, Peter, what's the matter with you? I'm not getting anywhere. Are you trying to ruin my reputation as a teacher? Come on up. I can't do it. Oh, now look here. Look at it this way. Ours is not to succeed, but to continue to fail in good spirit, huh? Okay, Jesse, you and your muchachos can take a break. Florence, put the box shot back on again, will you please? Thank you. And smile. 
You're on television. You never run down, do you? <laughs> How come you're so happy? Do you have that much to smile about? Peter, God gave us our faces. We make up the expression. And the sourpuss is man-made. Hmm? Okay, now. There you are. Ready? And forward. Side. Close. Back. Careful of the back move. That always throws you, you know. <laughs> I mean, literally. Every inch of this floor and I are on the most intimate of terms. <laughs> well, good. You can't smile. Good for you, Pete. Forward. Side. Close. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Very good. Quick, quick, slow. Good. That's wonderful, Peter. Well, it's 4 o'clock, kids. Goodbye, and I'll see you on Thursday. Goodbye. 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 Peter, you're getting better every day. You're just wonderful. You're the only one I can dance with. Well, that's because I'm the only one you ever asked. Now, starting next week, I want you to stop being so shy and ask the girls to dance. You hear? I'm not shy. I just want to dance with you. <laughs> well, now, if you think I hold you up or lead you, you're wrong. You dance very well now. You don't need to teach her anymore. Would you like a cold drink? Oh, no, I can't, Peter. I have to get back to the studio for a lesson. You work too hard. Oh! Teaching you kids isn't work. It's my fun. We're not exactly kids, you know. We may seem younger because we're slightly restricted, but we're not kids just the same. <laughs> All right, Grandpa. I'll get you your crutch. I don't use crutches anymore. I can manage with a cane. Now, you know very well I didn't mean to offend you when I said that. What's the matter? Why are you so touchy today? Because you never seem to have any time for me. You always have to rush off someplace. I'm sorry, Peter, but I have to go. Okay. Goodbye. Peter. Come here. You are a baby. I'm not. I'm 16, and I should be a man, but I'm not. And I wish you would quit reminding me that I'm not and never will be. Peter, don't. Please don't. Don't treat me like that or yourself. Neither of us deserve it. I'm sorry. I am. Now, how about that cold drink, huh? No, you have your lesson. Well, that's all right. I, I could call and tell him I'll be alone. I'm all right. Really. It's just that every once in a while it kind of chokes me and I have to spit it out. I'm all right, honest. I get along a lot better than you give me credit for. See you Thursday. You're a wonderful man, Peter. The best of all qualifications, the combination great men are made of. Courage and kindness. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Goodbye, Polly. Goodbye, Peter. I'm just through with my afternoon class. Well, yes, yeah, certainly, if you're in the neighborhood. Fine. In about uh, five minutes? All right, see you then. Hi. Oh, hi, Peter. Oh, hi. Come on back here in the office. I'm putting some coffee on. Funny, I knew you would, so I brought some donuts. Oh, wonderful. Put them right there. I guess it isn't really funny. What? That I knew you'd have coffee on, so I brought some donuts. 
Oh? Some people get to really know each other really well when they really like each other, don't you think? <laughs> well, maybe we should have a mind-reading actor. <laughs> don't laugh at me. Oh, now listen. You've got to stop being so super sensitive. I like to laugh. And since you think you know me so well, you should have guessed by now that I'm not laughing at you, Peter. I'm laughing with you. Sorry. <laughs> well, here. Put those diet records on that plate, hmm? They're half jelly and Whoa. half chocolate. I hope you like that. Oh, you do read mine. They're my absolute favorite. Oh, I bet they just tear the weight right off of you. <laughs> Well, you sure don't have to worry. What? Your figure's just right, I think. Oh, thank you. They're having a dance at school next week. Would you go with me? Oh, now, Peter, I've already told you. I'm not the only one you can dance with. You do very well. And I've told you, you're the only one I want to dance with. That's nonsense. Oh, really? Dancing with a partner without braces would be a big help to you, Peter. There must be some nice young girl in your class that you'd like to ask. But I'm asking you. Well, you just don't take your dancing teacher dancing. Sit down. Ooh. Why don't you try one? Do you ever go out with fellows? Uh... Sometimes. Dancing? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Well, do you go out with just ordinary... I mean, well, not fellows like me, just... Well, you know. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. It doesn't bother you to be the only one that's different? Well, now... Peter, why don't you figure it this way? Uh... People like to look at things that are different, you know? Things that interest them, like a, a dress or a suit or a haircut or, or, or these braces. Now, the fact that they are of interest, that, that shouldn't upset you. On the contrary. Why don't you try to show people what a, what a wonderful job they do for you? Explain away their curiosity, you know, by... Well, by handling them and yourself so easily that people will only feel respect for you. Respect? Yes. Well, believe it or not, that's what all good things in life are based on. You won't go dancing with me. And it's not because of these. And no, it's not. It's because I don't want all of your young friends to think that you couldn't get anybody but your mother to go to the dance with you. Well, any time they'd think that. Well. Oh, going to the dance was just a silly idea anyway. Not at all, Peter. For you to go to the dance with your young friends is a very good idea. But a good idea isn't enough. You've got to stick to it until it proves to be one. See? Okay, okay. You think if I asked one of the girls? There's one girl who talks to me. She comes up and talks to me all the time. Oh, good. Well, then, uh, why don't you ask her today? Hmm? Well, she's real popular. Well, then all the more reason to ask her right away. Do you know her number? Yeah, I think so. Well, there's the phone. Be my guest. I had to call her a couple of times last month. We were on a debate team together. Hello, Dorothy. This is Peter. Fine. Would you like to go to the dance with me? Well, don't sound so funny. Sure, I can dance a little. Yeah, okay. Bye. Well? Well, she said she'd be delighted. Now, why would she say a thing like that? Because she was probably delighted. Well, I'm not. I wanted to go with you. Oh, Peter, for heaven's sake, you're impossible. Go on, eat another donut. <laughs> oh, hi, Peter. How's the dance? 
school last night. Sure. You go out dancing all the time. Only you forgot to tell me that you left your armor at home. Pete, you know, uh, that first day in the hospital, the, the day that we met, I... Well, I had those braces on because I was trying to find out how... How the poor cripples get along? Boy, was I wrong about knowing you. Was I way off? You were just using us. Guinea pigs for some screwball experiment. Was I ever wrong? Well, no matter how screwball the experiment, it has been successful. Successful? You've made us feel that we can do what you can do. When you know all the time we can't. You can, Peter. You are. We can't. We can't take these things oh. off. You can. All that guff about leading a normal life. Sure, you lead a normal life. Why shouldn't you? Big deal. I'll tell them at the hospital about your miraculous recovery. Oh, Peter, I... Here, I'll help you out. Get away from me. All right. Here. Yes, Peter, you, uh, you could say I used you, I guess. You see, I was bored. My life was pretty empty. I wanted someone to give to. You boys and girls seem to be able to use what little I could give. Yes, I guess I did use you, but I hoped I earned the right a little bit. Now, whether you believe it or not, my wearing those braces gave you faith in me. Yes. What's more important, Peter? It gave you faith in yourselves. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. But now I feel that you've cheated me. Cheated us all. Deception is wrong. I, I admit that, but... Well, Pete, weigh it against the good. Weigh it against the fact that last night you escorted one of the most popular girls in your school to a dance. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's why I came. To tell you that last night I had the best time of my life. You gave me that time, and I came by to say thank you. Well, say it. Thank you. You're welcome. I've got some coffee on in the back room. You want to come on and tell me about the dance, huh? Well, they didn't play many foxtrots. Is that so? Rock and roll, mostly. Oh. But Dorothy doesn't like rock and roll anyway. Oh? Do you know that she'd been waiting all year for me to ask her out? You're kidding. Well, not dancing, of course. Oh. She didn't know I could. I bet you were surprised. <laughs> yes. Yeah.